back with some Norm. I have got his um, The Next Norm Live, so that will be coming up. Because um, the next one's Gilbert Godfrey, and there's two, basically. There's two episodes with him, pretty much. So it's like, yeah, two hours of Gilbert and Norm. But that's, that will be coming, I'll probably do that tomorrow, put it up tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, this one for now, this is Norm, Stand Up, San Francisco. So yeah, let's see what this is saying. Right, let's go. Literal destiny, he has a date. <laughs> but anyways. Oh. So San Francisco, man, what else? What else is San Francisco famous for? Oh, guys sucking and fucking each other. <laughs> yeah, <not bad. laughs> They're equally proud, by the way. They're just as proud as uh, straight people. They're sucking and fucking. As a matter of fact, every year they get, they, they're so proud they have a parade for it. It's called the Gay Pride Parade. And uh, it's an odd thing to me, because I'll tell you something. When I was a boy, you know, and uh, I'm older than you fellers, but when I was, when I was, when I was uh, six years of age, I remember my dad showing me on the television there was a parade because Neil Armstrong and the boys, why they had gone to the moon. <laughs> they, your man had touched the, the satellite that that it whirls around our whirling cinder. And then they came back. Now, they had a parade for them. My dad had me watching on his little Philco TV that he kept uh, in the kitchen. And uh, he, he said, I remember he said, watch this, son, you know? And Neil Armstrong and the boys were going down, ticker tape, Fifth Avenue. It was like a very majestic moment. Now, this is how parades have, in my mind, devolved a little. <laughs> Now it's a bunch of guys who like sucking and fucking each other. <laughs> Am I supposed to bring my kid on my shoulders? Hey, look at that. Enjoy your cotton candy. There's some more guys who like sucking and fucking each other. <laughs> and they like doing it. I don't think you get a parade for something you like. like if they didn't like, maybe then I'd show up. You know what I mean? If, they, if it was like, I don't like it, but God damn it, I'll do it for my country. Ah! <laughs> then I'd go, son, that man's a patriot. <laughs> he understands there's greater than the individual. There's... <laughs> But there is one very touching moment, because a guy took me to this gay pride parade, and the most touching moment makes you cry, is there's the parents of the adult gay uh, children, and they're holding like uh, signs and stuff, you know? And it's the most moving uh, part of it. And uh, well, first of all, they're not dancing around in leather and shit. And, uh, <laughs> but you see them, and some of these guys are old fellows, you could tell, you know, are in Korea and stuff, you know what I mean? And, uh, and so, and they, and they carry signs that say, you know, I am proud that my son is gay, you know? And it's so beautiful, but I still, I, I think they're choosing the wrong words, because pride, again, I don't, you know, I like, there's a difference between accepting and loving and everything like that, but, uh, you know, I don't think anybody's bragging about it down at work or anything, you know? <laughs> He goes, hey guys, come over here, man. I want to tell you something about my youngest son, Bill. <laughs> McCluskey, get over here. <laughs> I want to tell you about Bill. We're so proud of him. He, uh, he graduated Harvard this year, top of his class. Gonna be a lawyer. What do you think of that, huh? You can use a McCluskey next time you get in trouble. Ah, my son, none of us McPhersons ever graduated the fifth grade. We're all just a bunch of chunks of coal, but ah, it's all gonna change now. <laughs> Our young son, Bill. Tell you something else we're proud of him for. He... <laughs> he was on the junior varsity basketball team. 
And uh, <laughs> in a span of seven games, he had four triple doubles to end the season. What do you think of that, huh? Unbelievable. Also loves cock. I don't know. <laughs> in his mouth, up his ass. This kid, he doesn't care. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. I can't do it myself. Yeah. I said, Bill, can't be a lawyer. I got a picture of him. He's going to be articling in uh, Greenwich next year. There he is. He's graduated. That's the, his graduation picture. Look at that, huh? With his robes there and the mortar board. And, you know, look at It's that hat, McCluskey, ignorant bastard. They call it that. Look at him there, huh? What a picture. You can't see it in the picture, but he's got eight cocks wedged up his ass. <laughs> and of course, you can see the fine spray of jizz <laughs> arcing over his tongue as he greedily laps it up. Well, well. <laughs> I feel so much pride when I see that picture. Pride is the thing that I most feel. <laughs> Listen, folks. I just want to say uh, San Francisco's uh, awesome, and uh, I'm from L.A., and uh, hey, we can't wait to get your football team. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to that. <laughs> and, um, How's O.J.? O.J.? Well, I've changed my mind on O.J. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what I feel about O.J. I, as much as I was indignant about his uh, acquittal, I'm equally indignant about his, uh, his uh, going to prison for stealing his uh, fucking own shirts. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. I don't think if you steal your own shirts, you should get 35 consecutive life sentences. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair to me at all. And... Now he's probably saying, I wish I got fucking, uh, you know, I wish I was put up for the other crime, because here's the thing. In prison, they have a pecking order. <laughs> now, in the pecking order, one of the top people on the pecking order are the double murderers. They're way up high. Very well-respected members of the, uh, of the old gray bar, you know, community. But guys who steal their own shirts, they're at the lowest of on the pecking order. And the pecking order involves a lot of ass fucking, basically. And uh, so I feel sorry for OJ, because I'm sure he's going, wait, I fucking killed two fucking people. I killed a waiter and my wife savagely. And they're like, we saw that fucking trial. If the glove don't fit, you can't acquit. You stole a jersey and nothing more, and I get your fucking ass over here. I have to fuck it. No. There you go. God bless you, folks. I love you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was his thing. I might have to watch them. I don't know if I've actually done, but I've seen him on um, Saturday Night Live. I've seen a couple of his OJ. Drugs, but I, yeah, I might actually watch a clip of all these OJ um, bits because I've seen there as a compilation, so yeah, maybe I'll do that as well. But yeah, as well, if anyone's watching this and got this far, have a look at my Patreon because I've got all the Norm McDonald lives on the Patreon, and you ain't got to pay for nothing because it's just gone there and it, they are all on there. Well, nearly, like I say, I'm at the end of. I'm on the last one of the first series, so we're up to Gilbert. But that's fucking great. That's some great norm for you right there. But yeah. Yeah, that was genius. The the gay pride thing is true. What is the pride for? And then the OJ, that's what was great about Norm. He just has such great observations. It's just so simple. But hilarious at the same time, and the way he delivers it, you you can't beat Norm's delivery. Like he's not finishing things because you know what the next bit is, so he doesn't have to finish it. He just has to line it up. But yeah, that's the reaction. 
Sweet.